Yo, 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 what it is, what it do, in the place to be, and I'm with my crew. Mr. Baker coming at you with another hot tutorial. This one's a very popular song request called Golden Hour from Jabuki, or however you say his name with the upside down A thing. Let's hear it. Very cool, repetitive pattern soaring through the stratosphere. Very pretty, very melodic, very uh, transcendental. And yes, I got my squishmallows with me, keeping me cozy as I put this little tutorial together. Let's make it happen, shall we? Thank you for this popular request. It keeps coming up, so I figured, why not make it? First, we got to press restart. Now we have a blank canvas. Then we got to change some settings. Obviously, that looks way different. Go over here to the settings on the bottom. We're going to change the length from four bars to eight bars. We're going to double that. Beats per bar, we're gonna make six beats per bar. Go up here to scale, it says major, nope, let's go to chromatic. And then start on high C instead of middle C. Yes, sell the high Cs, oh yes indeed. Once that's all good to go, press the blue check, should be all ready. Now we have a bunch of little dots, a bunch more to work with. Oh, I forgot something, go back to settings, change it from two octaves to three octaves, hit the blue check. Check your settings, make sure those are all good. Now you have three octaves, a high, mid, and a low octave for placing your notes on. This one doesn't have any drums in particular, so you don't have to worry about a drum beat. Unless you want to get creative, feel free if you want. Now I'm going to show you these repetitive patterns that keep going in cycles that we're going to build this song from. I got it a little made already over here on the iPad, so I can plug and play without wasting a bunch of time. So let's start with our first group of notes. Starts with this purple, then this kind of darker orange, then yellow. And then alternates between those for a group of six. One, two, three, four, five, six. So it starts with the purple, then this little M shape, like a zigzag, kind of an M. That is your first six notes. You're gonna repeat that for a total of four times. There's a second time. There's a third time. And there's a fourth time. If it's all spaced out right with no spaces in between, it should all line up at the end of that gray bar. And that is the first part. Let's check it out. Ooh, it sounds kind of like Adele, someone like you, but it's too slow. Obviously, that song's a little bit faster instead of 120 for the tempo. Tempo is a word that means the speed of the song. Double click on 120. You're going to type in 192, 192 beats per minute. Press enter. Now your song is 192 beats per minute. Which has a much more flowing feel to it, in my opinion. And that is your first group of four, six notes repeated. Let's go ahead and put in the next one, which is gonna be this deep blue, then a pink, then this shade of orange, and then that alternating shape again. Almost the same as this one, a little bit different, the same shape, but a little bit different co group of colors. You're gonna repeat that again, just like we did before the third time but in this particular one on the fourth time you're going to change the lowest note to this teal kind of thing and then repeat those same high notes. a little weird but this is like a passing tone in the bass line to get us to the next section so it's the same thing four times with the exception of this note down here let's hear it so far Now what comes next? Let's keep pushing. We got this this green that's just below that. Then we got a purple. And we got this uh, darker orange kind of thing. And then that pattern is repeated for a total of four times. Same kind of shape, just a little bit lower. Different use of colors, different notes, but the same melodic flow, same texture of the melody. But in this case, the bass line, this is your roots that the other notes float on top of. Now I've made this same pattern four times. Go ahead and double check your spacing, make sure it's the correct colors so that yours sounds the same. Now before we hear it again, let's go ahead and finish this bass line. We only got two more bars to fill out. This one starts with a yellow down here. And then there's deep blue, then pink. Alternate back and forth, boom. For a total of four times. I'm gonna quick plug these in real quick. 
while I'm doing that, smash that like and subscribe button, all the uh, shameless self plugs here for the YouTubes, and bingo, there is our bass line. Pretty bass line, it sounds good just by itself before we even add the extra notes. Let's hear this whole thing so far. pretty just by itself now there's a whole other layer of notes that sits on top of that and lines up and that's what gives it that really pretty elegant flow to it check that make sure your bass line looks good and then let's scroll up and add a melody shall we the melody shape is a little bit different but it's also very repetitive so let's figure out those notes real quick looks like it starts with this one right here so this is right above the lines we already made just a different shape we're scrolling up we start with this shade of green right here, then this dark blue, then a pink, and then up here, then back down. Repeat. For a total of four times, you guessed it. Very repetitive. Looks like a whole lot going on, but it's really simple and repetitive when you break it down. So that is your first little wave. I kind of see these as a McDonald's sign, like a big M. The golden arches, it's a wave, and then a wave, it repeats itself. There's your first part, let's hear it. Really pretty already. Now the next one's very similar, but you're gonna drop to that first note, instead of it being that green, it's gonna be a yellow. This same yellow we have here. And then these high colors are actually gonna be the same. The same colors we used before for that top of the arch are the same colors we're going to repeat again four times. Really cool. Let's hear if it lines up. All right, let's keep this bad boy going. Check that to make sure that all looks good. And I'm going to keep powering through, shall we? Yep, the next one starts with another yellow. Then we got this like forest green kind of thing. Then you got a purple, then a pink, then a purple, back down. Same shape, just like before. Just shifts everything down a little bit. Repeating this four times. Like and subscribe. <coughs> so there is that. That's the shape of that. Let's hear it before we plug in our last notes. bar to fill out the last shape is a little bit different but very very similar it starts with this kind of burnt orange kind of thing happening where is it this one right here yep and then a yellow and then this forest green kind of thing then a deep blue repeat now you see this is a similar shape but it's a little bit different in the way it moves across. Let me move my fat noggin over here. Oops. And there it is, folks. There you have it. All the notes to Golden Hour. It should all line up and sound really pretty. It looks really complicated, but it's, as we saw, very repetitive. Let's hear this bad boy. beautiful very pretty very cool song request thank you for sending me those check it out the original song is in piano i don't really like the sound of the piano on here but it sounds the most like the actual song let's hear it really pretty but a little bit too harsh for me i like the sound of the marimba or the synthesizer sounds really cool experiment with the sounds make a drum beat to it if you want get creative keep them requests coming thank you so much for your support Hit that like and subscribe button, all that good stuff. Thank you for tuning in. Tell all your friends and keep making music. Peace and love, y'all.